simple habits to help you to lose weight. Walk every day. Eat 80% healthy. Do the sport you like. Drink about 2 liters of water. 5 tips to help you to lose weight. Try to be as active as you can. Find healthy alternative recipe. Try to have one half vegetables in your plate. Don't forget to have cheap meal once a week. Drink a lot of water reduced soda. Add a little bit of spice. You do not have to go for a run if you want to burn belly fat. If you want to lose body fat, okay, we don't have to run. We don't have to do cardio. It's about our nutrition. And if you need help, I can help you. Are you trying to lose weight? Experts say when it comes to reducing weight, diet is far more important than exercise. That's why you should click the first link in description and take your diet quiz to see what fit you. Ice cream, a thousand calories. And this is eight cups of protein ice cream, 385 calories. It's definitely ice cream. The way I diet is eating low calorie dense foods. And I can guarantee you, you can eat this entire pint of ice cream and still be hungry. Or you can eat two liters of protein ice cream, still be full and remain in a deficit. This is rosemary. Rosemary has been shown to improve memory, cognitive function, and even depression as it increases circulation to the brain. Studies have also shown that rosemary can simulate hair growth and regenerate nervous tissue. Add rosemary to your food or steep it as a tea. Hello guys, here is what I eat in a day for a flat stomach. First thing I do in the morning on an empty stomach is vacuum. Stomach vacuum is good for working your internal abdominal muscles. Next I drink a glass of warm water with lemon juice. This maintains the pH balance in your body, helps with digestion and improves the immune system. After 30 minutes I have breakfast. I try to eat fruits in the first part of the day, so I'm usually having smoothies in the morning. Here is a vegan ice cream protein bowl. Dates are my favorite snack when I crave something sweet. For lunch, I have a big salad with hummus or chickpeas. My second snack is cashew nuts. For dinner, I love cream soups with yeast flakes. Here I have tomato soup. My weight loss well, journey I lost 40 pounds in four months. Tips. I'm telling you, when I lose weight, oh, it's over for you bitches. When I lose Even if you hate broccoli, I promise that you're going to love this recipe. Start by steaming your broccoli. You can use the stems and everything, just cut off the really woody bits. When it's super tender, use a wooden spoon to mash it into tiny pieces before adding some eggs and some almond flour. Add in some grass-fed cheddar cheese. You can also leave this out if you want. And then some onion powder and some garlic powder as well for lots and lots of flavor. Throw in some fine grained sea salt and lots of black pepper and then mix it all up. Then take a parchment lined pan and spray it down with some avocado oil or olive oil or whatever you have on hand. Form little patties with your broccoli mixture and then pop it all in the oven. When when it's golden brown, take it out and flip it over. Totally optional, but you can sprinkle some more cheese on top and then pop it back into the oven until it's brown on the other side. You're going to be completely obsessed with these. What's up, guys? I lost 12 pounds in a single week because of this drink. You're going to take some water, a kiwi, and a mandarin orange, and some garlic powder. Put a little bit of the garlic powder in the water, squeeze the mandarin orange, and then take a little bit of the kiwi peel and put that in the cup, stir it around, and drink this once in the morning, once at night. I swear you're going to get such amazing results. 
This is a joke. Please stop drinking weird things you see on TikTok. Answering a comment from my coconut oil video. Unfortunately, avocado was on sale. So I was happy to accept the challenge. I removed the flesh and mashed the avocados. I then spread it on a thin layer on my baking sheets. I then air dry at room temperature, mixing and spreading every 8 to 12 hours. I then extracted the oil using a cheesecloth. I got 2 ounces of avocado oil after spending $6.70 in 2.5 days. Let me know if you will make avocado oil on your own. Cucumbers are one of the best things that you can eat for your skin. Not only are they full of water and will keep your body hydrated, but they also contain high amounts of vitamins, minerals, and polyphenols. This is a recipe for my favorite Asian cucumber salad that is so delicious. You want to take about five cucumbers or so and peel them just a little bit, but not completely since a lot of the nutrients are found in the peel. So then slice the cucumbers thickly, place them in the large bowl, season them with salt, toss, and then set aside. Next, you want to take two cloves of garlic, smash them, and mince them up very small. Then add them to your cucumber bowl, and again, toss. Then you're gonna add two teaspoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, two teaspoons of sugar, one tablespoon of olive oil, one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar, and then two teaspoons of chili oil. And voila, a healthy snack. Here are the top five most inflammatory foods you can eat. Now, if you have high blood pressure, heart disease, type two diabetes, or any other circulatory issue, you are already in a state of inflammation. Consuming these foods are going to make your condition worsen. Number one is junk food. This means fast food, those convenient foods like those microwavable meals or those prepackaged foods, potato chips, pretzels, things like that. Number two is refined carbs. White bread, white pasta, white rice, crackers, biscuits, flour tortillas. Number three is fried foods. French fries, donuts, mozzarella sticks, egg rolls, and yes, donuts are fried. Number four, sugar sweetened beverages. This means soda, sweet tea, energy drinks, and sports drinks. And beware of those drinks that claim to have zero sugar, they're lying. They may not be using cane sugar, but I can guarantee they're using another synthetic sweetener that is usually 200 times more sweet than actual cane sugar. Number five, processed and red meats. This means bacon, beef jerky, hot dogs, canned meat like spam, salami, lunch meats, and even chicken. Follow me for more. If your skin look like this, have a lot of bumps, a rough texture, stay. I have a secret weapon for you. So that was my skin a year ago. This is my skin now. Wait, hold on, let me take off the beauty filter. Okay, the filter is off. Um, this is my skin now. I have a little bit of makeup, but so did I in that picture. And you can see the texture are very different. You know how I did it? Omega-3 fatty acid supplements. Don't worry, this is not sponsored. I don't do that yet. So if you're like me, have those little bumps on your face and no matter what you use, you cannot get rid of it, it's very possible that you have chronic inflammation. And omega-3 is the god for fighting inflammation. But be aware there are a lot of substandards and shady brands out there. So if you want to know what supplements are good for your skin and how to choose them, um, follow me because I'm going to do a couple of videos on that. If you're serious about a healthy, unfit lifestyle, Check out the first link in the description at Healthy Talk. All she wanted was a bowl of pasta without anybody looking at her. So I asked the baby, What's the matter? With that, she said, I don't know it's stupid, but it's complicated. There's been a lot pressure on me lately to wake up every day and look amazing so i said you're the prettiest thing in the world look at what we've done to the girl if you are a woman and you are single and dating this message is for you ladies stop meeting a guy that you really like and deciding that you are going to fall back from all of the other guys that you're talking to I'm telling you, don't do it. That is how you set yourself up to be played. I understand that as women, we are naturally one man kind of creatures. I get that. And I know we want to focus all of our attention on one guy when we find a guy that we really like because that's just naturally who we are as women.
Men tend to do a much better job than women at keeping their options open. They don't want to settle down and wife up a woman until they make sure that they've sampled everything out there that they possibly can and they know for a fact this is the one. Whereas women, we tend to want to do it quick. You have to understand that if you are single and you're talking to a guy that you really like and he has not done the task of coming to you correctly and asking you for something monogamous, then you have every right to date other people. In fact, you should actively be dating other people because I'm going to tell you what could possibly happen and what you're setting yourself up for. You meet Jason and you really like Jason. So you naturally stop texting Michael and Harry and Larry and all these other guys that you're talking to because you are just naturally crushing so hard on Jason, right? But then Jason runs off and meets Ashley and he decides, you know what? Ashley is actually the person that I want to be monogamous with. So now you don't got nobody. You have to date the right way. And if a man has not sat down and given you the impression that he wants something monogamous with you, then you have to keep all of your options open and never put all of your eggs in one basket. A lot of women have a bad habit of doing that whenever they come across a guy that they really like and then when it doesn't work out, they're lost and confused and discouraged from dating. But it's not the dating that's the problem, it's the fact that you're not dating correctly. If you're single, and dating, then do just that. Date. Go out with different guys. Play the field. Just because you come across a guy that you really like doesn't mean that the whole rest of your life has to be put on pause. Could ever fit your shoes You'll always be the one I hold on to Guess it's not the time for me and you Until you move them hoes out the way Let them know their place Tell them all they need to back down Wouldn't even know love If it was right in your face But I ain't tryna hold you back now So I guess you'll love me later All right, here's how you're gonna lose your first 10 pounds. All right, number one, you're gonna stop eating all processed foods and stick with whole natural foods that you can find out in nature, right? So chicken, beef, uh, veggies, nuts, seeds, potatoes, things like that. You won't find a Pop-Tart tree out in nature, so stop eating all the time and you'll quickly find that your body will regulate its own hunger signal. Number two, you're gonna go for a 30 minute walk every single day. And it doesn't have to be some excruciating thing, just a slight, fast walk, that's it. Number three, make sure you drink half your body weight in ounces of water every single day and bonus points if you drink more than that. So if you weigh 200 pounds, drink or aim for 100 ounces of water. Number four, no more scrolling through TikTok till 3 a.m. Cut screen times at least 30 minutes before bed. And that's how you lose your first 10 pounds like nothing. If you found this useful and want more information, make sure you're following and give me a comment. Things that boost your metabolism. Let's play the cap game. Watching a scary movie burns 113 calories. Not cap. Eating chili peppers burns 50 calories. Not cap. The amount of sleep has no impact on if you gain or lose weight. That's cap. People who slept seven hours or more lost more weight than others. Eating kimchi, Korean fermented cabbage, help people lose weight. Not cap. For more weight loss tips from a doctor, check out my latest podcast of the No Cap Health Show. Link in the bio. How I lost 40, I'll be back And shit when he in love with my body Get into it, yo Pop out with a truck Get into it, yo If you got a chance I said get into it, yo I just shit and got a butt Now fuck it, get into it, yo And I said I just got a butt What color bell pepper is the healthiest? I get this question a lot Let's talk about it real quick Of all colors, red peppers are on the vine the longest They're basically fully ripe green peppers for this reason, they're naturally the sweetest and pack the most nutrition. Compared to green peppers, the red ones have almost double the vitamin C and 10 times more beta carotene. 
Beta carotene is an antioxidant that supports heart health, good vision, and healthy skin, hair, and nails. This is why I almost always use red peppers in salad making and in cooking. Since green peppers are harvested earlier, before they have a chance to turn yellow, orange, and then red, they're going to be the least sweet and the lowest in nutrients. But here's the deal. The longer bell peppers stay on the vine, the more they'll cost you. So don't let the color markup deter you from reaping their overall health benefits. If price is an issue, you can always go green. Or even mix it up to bring some visual appeal to your salads and other dishes. Remember, every color bell pepper started off as a green one. At the end of the day, eating some bell pepper is always better than eating none at all. Follow for more. What I eat a day on my calorie deficit diet. I have lost 60 plus LBS. Have you ever seen somebody who walks 5 to 10,000 steps per day, eats protein at every single meal, lifts weights 3 to 5 times a week, drinks 5 glasses of water per day, is actually a grown up and eats their vegetables, and has at least one serving of fruit per day, who is massively out of shape and unhealthy? Yeah, me either. So do those things. Stay focused. Don't talk about what you're going to do. Don't just dream about what you're going to do. Don't criticize somebody else for what they're not doing. You be it, be about it, be about that action and go do it. Keep your eye on your intention. Don't let any outside distraction or your own insecurity stop you from your goals. If you're serious about a healthy, unfit lifestyle, check out the first link in the description at Healthy Talk. I got tired of being the funny fat friend. How your body will change once you start eating healthier. Add a little bit of spice. Three things I never consume as a nutritionist. First is butters made with hydrogenated oils such as canola oil or soybean oil. These oils are super inflammatory. My go-to is grass-fed butter like the brand Kerrygold. Second is processed carbs, especially from brands such as the one shown here. They oftentimes have added sugars and suspect ingredients. My go-to brand is Bread Seriously. Last but not least, fake meat. These products are highly processed and not nearly as good for you as organic grass-fed meat. It's a remix and I'm coming with that bow, bow, bow. Pretty bitch, I'm trying to hit her with that bow, bow, bow. Can't catch me slipping, I'm going to up it when I bow, bow, bow. And If you want to lose fat fast, get in shape, and better your health, 
You have to eat right, so try my meal preps. This is chicken breast I cut into cubes. I added French's mustard, and then I evenly coated all of the chicken. From there, I simply grabbed one seasoning, and it was from Flavor God. This is garlic lover's seasoning, delicious. Popped it into a cast iron skillet in the oven, 375 degrees for 35 minutes. Then I got my Brussels sprouts ready. I chopped them in half. After that, the chicken was done. You'll then remove the chicken from the pan, but leave the broth and you'll add the Brussels sprouts right into that same pan with a little bit of black pepper and pink Himalayan salt. You'll pop it back in the oven on 425 degrees for 30 minutes, then it'll be done. You can place all the excess into Tupperwares for other meals for the week, and then you'll weigh out five ounces of chicken breast, four ounces of Brussels sprouts, one third cup rice. Be sure to tag a friend below, like, comment, share, follow for more, and enjoy. And medium. I know they run small, but it does fit. It's just that it's a little tight on the thighs, and you know the Molina pants supposed to be like a wide leg thing. I don't know. Maybe if these thighs get less thick, but we'll see. Let's talk about weight loss after losing 115 pounds. This is part two. I did post part one if you want to go check that out. I received a lot of questions asking, did people treat me differently? And I'm here to tell you, yes, they did. As sad as I am to say skinny privilege is a thing. I got more doors hauled open for me. People who didn't look in my direction started to hit me up. Um, in the next picture, I'll show you. This is someone from my school that didn't even look in my direction. And there is no uncomfortable questions, um, so I'm pretty open and honest with you guys. Let's talk about my cup size. I was almost double D's, and then I shrunk. Yeah, yeah look at this picture. <laughs> I'm kind of iffy about this picture, but like I said, I'm comfortable with you guys. Um, I did shrunk down to a C cup. And another thing that changed was my voice. My voice at 283 pounds was pretty deep, and now it is pretty light compared to what it was. Foods that I ate to help me lose 39 kg. If you want to lose 5 to 10 pounds before January 1st, here's exactly what you should do. Number one, take your goal body weight in pounds and multiply it by 10 and eat that many calories every single day. Number two, do 8 to 10,000 steps daily. No running. And number three, drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day and follow me for more weight loss advice. How did I go from this to this?
I won't stop until that boy is mine Baby, you'll be famous, chase you down until you love me Papa Hi, my name is Priya and this is how I make beetroot hummus. First I wash a can of chickpeas, I then squeeze the juice of half a lemon, and this next part might sound a little weird, but I add in peeled almonds for some of that extra protein. I am personally just so obsessed with adding beetroots to hummus because it makes it naturally so sweet. Just for a bit more flavour, I add in salt, pepper, paprika, and oil. Oh, and my final ingredient that I didn't forget at the grocery store this time was tahini. It made a huge difference in the hummus. And a dash of bonsai. I then blend it up in the Nutribullet, then I scoop it out into a bowl so that I can literally <laughs> snack on it all day. <laughs> and then occasionally when I get bored of eating the whole bowl of hummus with my finger, I scoop two dollops onto a rice cracker. I then evenly spread it around and sprinkle on some of my dad's special spice mix. And like, one is not enough, you need like three. <laughs> okay, bye. You want to come back? You want a tea with the big boys? Now you're the wrong, get the kitty, 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 you're the wrong, Kiss me in the shower I'm a dietitian and here are three foods people think are healthy but actually aren't. Many of these granola bars have a lot of added sugar but little to no fiber and protein. Fruit juice has just as much added sugar as soda but none of the fiber and nutrients found in fruit. Veggie chips are no healthier than potato chips and don't count as a vegetable.